Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. This uh, particular video is just a routine maintenance type video. We did this concrete, and there will be a link in this in this uh, video to the original pour of this job. What we're doing now, since it's cured out and it's been a few months, uh, we're coming back here. We're going to pressure wash it, um, get it nice and clean. Then we're going to put some sealer on this just to preserve it from staining. Basically, that's the whole idea of uh, sealing it so it won't stain, discolor, and uh, preserves the finish. So you can always see this uh, video on uh, the actual pouring of this job through that link that's in the top corner of, the, of this video. So here's how I prep them. It's, it's pretty much cured out. There is a little discoloring here and there from the sprinklers, I believe. But that's going to all, all um, dry out eventually. I used a degreaser that I diluted with water. Just some basic concrete cleaner degreaser. We brush that around on this whole job first. And then we um, go through it with a pressure washer. Cleaning out all the saw cuts. Getting all the debris off of it. The nice thing, this job, it doesn't have any cracks at this point that are visible. I'm sure it has cracks within the saw cuts, but no cracks that are actually visible, which um, turned out real nice, which is always nice to see. It's not guaranteed that you won't see cracks, but in this particular job, they haven't appeared. Now, this is actually the second day. When we do a prep for sealer, we wash it one day. We let it dry overnight, and we come back the next day to seal. That way we know that there's no moisture left in the concrete. This type of sealer that I'm using is a lacquer-based wet-look sealer. So in other words, you could spill um, a lot of stuff on here and it's not going to penetrate the concrete. You could just wipe it off with a rag or hose it off. Now this particular job I sealed about three years ago and it's in real good shape. And anything that was on there came right off. Now since it's a lacquer based sealer and I'm using a plastic spray can with a plastic handle, plastic hose, um, the acetone in, in the um, sealer itself will actually um, weaken the rubber hose and any of the plastic parts in the sprayer. So you have probably about maybe two hours tops with this material in the sprayer before it completely um, blows the hose. But they're 12 bucks so it's a lot cheaper than buying a hundred and fifty dollar metal sprayer that has rubber parts in all the mechanisms so you have to replace those anyway and this you just throw the sprayer I mean I think the rubber hose kit for the Hudson sprayers are probably equivalent to the cost of one of these sprayers so you know, I just get the disposables just keep, I can buy 10 or I can probably buy 20 of those to one Hudson You can see the soap that I'm using, another degreaser soap. This is how I prep them for sealer. So since we're resealing this three years later, uh, it's really preserved the color, the finish. Looks like the day that we sealed it the first time. We did run into a little bit of problem um, in the front yard. They have this is artificial turf in the backyard here, so we had no hard water deposits. However, in the front where they have real lawn, um, the sprinklers were actually over spraying on some of the stamped concrete. And since this is a dark color and water, a mineral deposits are light color. They really show up a lot when you go with this color scheme and then hard water water deposit on them. They're really hi highlighted. And you can see them they're down here on the lower landings mostly where the water settles and that's where you have the evaporation and then mineral deposits forming. 
So what I had to do in that situation is, well, first we started with the pressure washer, try to remove as much as possible. Then the next day we came back to seal this. Um, the water deposits were still visible as you can see here. So in that case, what I do is I use um, acetone, straight acetone and some clean rags and a little scrub brush to loosen up that top coat of that sealer and wipe it off with the sealer. So those two landings there were in bad shape. There's a couple spots here, but mostly there are the two lower landings. A little bit along this edge here, you can see I'm wiping it off with some acetone. And what the acetone does is it breaks down the top coat of that sealer and I can just wipe it off. Uh, wipe a little, a little top coat of the sealer with the hard water deposits at the same time. Now in this bottom area, it wasn't coming off quite as easy. It was a lot thicker and it looked like it had penetrated under the sealer. Probably a lot of standing water in this area, I imagine, because it's the low, low side of the yard. So what I had to do here, I actually had to get some uh, actual stripper. And I use, it's for varnish, paint, um, it's, it's kind of a gel form. I ended up using that here, this is a little more aggressive than the acetone. We gave it a shot with the acetone, we got some of it off, but I still wasn't completely happy with it. So we ended up going with uh, the actual uh, stripper. The stripper got the job done. The type I went with was a 15 minute stripper. In other words, it reacts within 15 minutes. It's ready to remove the coating. You can see it coming off now. Uh, we put that on there, the gel stripper, and then brush it around a little bit and then just wipe it off again. Then we get all the residue off and clean it up with, with the acetone. And then we're ready for sealing. No water involved. If we did have water involved, we wouldn't be able to seal it today. We'd have to wait for it to dry again. That's why we do the cleanup with acetone. It evaporates quickly and you're ready for sealing. Here's your sealer going on. So this will be good for another three to five years. And probably be a good idea to seal again. At one point, once you get enough coats of sealer on there, you would actually have to strip some of the sealer off or you have a um, pretty heavy buildup. Also in this sealer, I added a non-slip granules to the sealer that go through right through the sprayer what that does is when it gets wet it would normally get slippery with this finish but with this these granules in there it gives it kind of about a 300 grit type sand sandpaper finish to it so it's a non-slip surface This job's holding up really well as well. There's no no visible cracking. There's a lot of cracking in the saw cut joints, but um, that's what you want. That's what you want to happen. That's why those are there. See all the uh, mineral deposits are completely gone now after we went through that uh, tedious process of removing the sealer. Anyway, thank you for watching the videos. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe and hit the bell next to it. That way you'll get the latest and greatest as I roll them out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.